But what about the mid-range? Well, this potential problem occurs when the generator is shut down for maintenance and we need to open it up for inspection. How can we discharge the hydrogen without it coming into contact with air in the explosive range? The problem is resolved by eliminating the possibility of hydrogen and air coming into contact with each other inside the generator. First, the generator is purged of hydrogen by filling it with carbon dioxide, CO2, under pressure. CO2 is a completely inert gas that is non-flammable and non-explosive. The CO2 gas is admitted under pressure through a manifold at the bottom of the generator casing. This gas is much heavier than hydrogen. As it fills the generator casing from the bottom upwards, it slowly pushes the hydrogen out of the top manifold. The correct valve arrangement must be selected by the operator to allow this top manifold to discharge to atmosphere instead of receiving hydrogen from the bottles. The vent is usually located at a high point of the plant and there is no danger as the hydrogen is immediately diluted by surrounding atmosphere. During this process, the gas inside the generator casing is monitored. And when this indicates close to 100% CO2, air is admitted via the upper manifold to clear out the CO2. Now remember, carbon dioxide presents a suffocation hazard when encountered in a confined space. The total time required for purging may take several hours. When the generator is to be readied for service, then the reverse action takes place. Initially, the generator will be full of air. CO2 will then be admitted at the bottom manifold to push the air out of the top. When all air has been expelled, hydrogen will then be admitted from the top manifold, forcing CO2 out of the bottom. This is quite a tedious process and requires much care and attention from the operator. Make sure that you learn the specific procedures for your particular generator. Of course, for a short overnight shutdown of the machine where generator maintenance is not required, the generator remains charged with hydrogen with the seal oil system in operation. To prevent excessive leakage from the seals, it is important that the shaft rotate continuously on the unit turning gear. It is quite apparent that operation of the hydrogen cooling system is much more complicated than generator cooling by air. You must become thoroughly familiar with the operating procedures for your particular installation.